Okay, in this uh, video we're going to talk about combination circuits. And a combination circuit is really just a circuit that is a combination of both a series and a parallel circuit. So, as you can see, we have our battery connected in series with resistor 1, which is then connected in parallel with two other resistors. So we have a parallel section, but we also have a series section. So it's a combination of both types of circuits. And let's suppose we're asked to find what is the power, sorry, what is the power in this resistor? Okay. And we haven't really talked about power in electrical circuits yet. So let's take a second just to talk about that. Power again is the rate of doing work. So the electrical current that's flowing through this resistor is giving up some of its energy, right? There's a potential drop, a voltage drop. So there is a rate at which this resistor uses electrical energy, and that's what we're being asked to find. And in electrical circuits, power is given by the current times the voltage. So if I can find both of those quantities in this resistor, I could find the power. And what's unique about this equation is that I can combine it with Ohm's law. I know that V is equal to I times R. So if I substitute this into that equation, I get I squared times R. This equation is more useful because I already know the value of R. I only have to find the current now. I could also rearrange Ohm's law and get a third equation that I could use for calculating the power depending on if I knew the voltage. So really, as long as I can find either the voltage or the current flowing through this resistor, I can find the power in that resistor. Okay, so how do we actually find the current and voltage in that resistor? Well, for a combination circuit, what you want to do is basically combine these two resistors together. So we're going to find the total resistance of this parallel section. So there's a 10 ohm resistor and a 15 ohm resistor. And what I find is that they together have a combined resistance of 6 ohms. Okay. So I've combined these circuits. This is another reason we call them combination circuits. Is I've combined them together and I can treat them as if they were one resistor of 6 ohms. So my circuit really becomes a very simple series circuit where I have R1, which was our 5 ohm resistor, and then I've combined R2 and R3 into one resistor of 6 ohms. And now I can find the total resistance of this circuit. I know it's my 5 ohm resistor plus this 6 ohm resistor. So the total resistance here is 11 ohms. And because I know the total voltage, I can now find the current in this circuit. And that works out to be uh, 0 0.545 ohms. Notice that I'm not rounding any of my answers yet. I'm keeping a couple of extra digits in each term so I can keep track and uh, not cause any rounding errors. So now I know the current flowing through this resistor. I can find the power in that resistor. I know it's equal to I squared times R, uh, which is going to be, uh, give me 1.1 watts. So this resistor is using 1.1 joules per second of energy. That's the power used in that resistor. Okay, so that's a basic combination circuit. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, what you're going to do, as always, uh, is take the sections that are parallel uh, resistors, combine them together as a single resistor, and then you have a nice, simple series circuit, which we know how to solve. Okay? As always, whenever you're dealing with any type of circuit diagram, you want to start wherever you know the most information. Okay, in this circuit, what I knew is the value of every resistor, so I could start by finding the total resistance. Sometimes they might tell you the current or the voltage in one path, 
and then you'll know two pieces of information about that path and that's probably your best place to start. Uh, but there's lots of good example questions in the textbook. Uh, give them a try and as always if you have any questions about combination circuits uh, you can always ask me in class.